this week's video is going to be on the barrel race that I'm doing this weekend. It is only Wednesday and the barrel race isn't until Saturday, but I thought I would touch base about the barrel practice that I did yesterday. I didn't really want to make a whole separate video of it because I thought that it would be a little repetitive from last the last video I posted. Uh, so I thought I'd just kind of change it up a bit, but I will um, talk about it a bit and put in one of the clips from yesterday. Okay, it is Friday. I thought I'd make this video into kind of like a few days um, of activities because uh, I just thought it'd be kind of short if I just made it one one day. So right now, I just actually got back from riding someone's horse for them. Um, this was my second ride on this horse. He just wanted to get his horse more in shape. It's not really like a training thing as much as it's just to get him more exercise. So. That's fun, so I thought I would add in a couple clips of that today, and then tomorrow we'll be going to the barrel race. So yeah, that's a little update. I do ride quite a few people's horses for that, or I have in the past. Right now I only ride a couple, but it's just kind of a little bit of extra money, and also because I want to train horses in the future, so just kind of getting my name out there. Word of mouth is huge in the horse industry, so trying to get a bit of a good reputation going so yeah Okay, I'm just gonna touch base about the barrel race a bit yesterday. 
it went really good. Um, Dita had a, <laughs> her, both of her runs were a little bit crazy. Um, they definitely weren't the smoothest. Her second and third turns were pretty bad, but her first barrel was really nice both runs compared to what she usually does. Um, she's always had trouble with her first barrel, so I, I'm just really happy that she has that figured out. I think that she's getting a little frustrated with that arena. She is the type of horse who likes things to be changing all the time so that she can be staying engaged and excited. So I think that she's um, she's just kind of getting a bit sick of that. But she did really good. We ended up actually winning the 2D with one of our runs. So we won a, a little, we won our entries back in a bit. <coughs> And that was also the finals for a series, and it was a buckle series. So we were watching for the awards, and my sister Jasmine um, actually ended up winning the 3D buckle. And I thought, I didn't really think that I was in the running for a buckle. So we were just listening, and then I ended up winning the 2D buckle. <laughs> so it was funny because they only gave out four buckles, and me and my sister won two of them. So that was really exciting, and so, yeah, um, I'm really happy. Obviously, we barrel race because we love to barrel race, but it is always nice when you get a little bit of a, a reward. <laughs> so, yeah, um, next weekend, we're going to be going to a couple different rodeos, um, an amateur open rodeo, and then a high school rodeo. So that'll be the next video that I make. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed.